Hey, you! Come here a minute. Talking to me? Looking at you, ain't I? Come on, we got like a situation. Look, vodka. Have a shot. Hanson gonna hang me by my cojones anyway. So what the hell? Name's Paco. This here's Babs. V. Okay, V. Let's drink to the sitch. Like, toast the mofo and hope he goes away. What's this sitch, and why is it a bitch, making it sound like it's some life-or-death conundrum? Bab says I fucked big time, but as I see it, like, no shit too deep, you know? What you think? Meaning in general? In life? Well, like, yeah, yeah, in life. It's not always sink or swim. Sometimes you get to ride the wave. Eh, don't know, Chum. Seeing more of a riptide now. So, okay, can I start now? Yeah, what the hell? Weave your tail. Just Paco begging you. On the down low. Wall's got ears. You feel me? Ooh, wait. Let's do it right. Go for real feels, eh? Take a whiff. It's deep dive. Gonna take you there live. Make you feel part of it. Day was tight as shit. My ticket to the majors, get me? Wanna feel it? Take a big whiff and listen. What is this? Militech cognitive enhancer spike to something? Same kind of inhaler. Be one hell of a ride. How the hell you know shit like this? They'd give it to us in training. Fucking tight! Attention, this is... I had a story like that myself. Same start. Fast forward a few hours and... My best friend was dead. Oh, bites, man. I make it out alive of mine. Promise you. Starting today, the hospital and its staff... Oh, Okay, okay. Settle down to listen. So, picture this. My first day in Hansen's army? Waiting for the boss man, yeah? Legs shaking like jelly. Fuck! No! Imagine you Hansen himself. And you was pissed. You was super pissed Kurt Hansen himself. You wish to talk, so said the radio. Do you? Will you sort out the scab deal, or gonna fuck that up too? I don't know what you mean. They'll want to fuck us. We need to be prepared. Clear? Of course it's clear. Come now, this is rookie shit. Rookie shit, like talking to the police commissioner? You were my messenger, Yuri. Now half the NCPD knows about our dealings. Then, dead silence. Because you know, Yuri and Kurt been in the army together. Militech dropped them here years ago, yeah? Ha <laughs> <laughs> this little Torres ready to get fucked good? And I'm standing there, waiting, lost. I actually shit myself a little. Babs is whispering, egging me on like. And I'm thinking, if he don't kill Yuri, he gonna kill me for sure. Do it, Kurt! Little bitch is begging for it! Fuck him up! Bring it, Grunt. 
What? Best shot. Come on. Hit me. Hitting him like that. Telling you, felt like the real deal. Fight back, you little cut! Come on! And he just staring at me. And I'm thinking, I'm just too weak. Punches too. What's your name, kid? B Paco Torres. We'll make a hound out of you yet. Yes, sir. Fuck me, Paco. Quit making shit up. Psh, my story. What good are you to me? I'm quick and and clever. Let me see it. And that dog knows where to hit. I can still feel it in places. Do. I can tell. I drag him around the block again. And we will. We will. Welcome to the pack, kiddo. <laughs> like hell he said that. You'll handle the next convoy. Let's see what you're made of. And I felt like born again, Chum. Blood running down my face. But I'm so happy I'm howling. And? You're keeping up? Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Ugh, strong stuff. Makes me want to lay one on you myself. <laughs> Give it a week, Chumba. Need to heal. Get in the smackin' line, V. Ain't the end. Got his mission still coming. So listen, was one of those gigs, you know? Like guarding airdrops or transporting? I was protecting our convoy. Transport, what was it? Something for scabs. But we transport medicine, water, sometimes generators. Things for civvies. Caring for our peeps, right? But you know, sometimes it's one for the peeps. One for me, then two for me. Shit went south when I took too much, Chum. Babs loves complaining. But the opportunity looked real, real good. To the end. Hmm. Give me another whiff of the dive. So we driving, right? Boss man himself next to me. Suddenly, tires screeching, and I'm thinking, Mierda, esto se sale de madre. Motherfuckers. Get me, Manu? He saw it all coming. That's why he went with me. Fucking awesome! Prime! And he was out for blood! The road. Buckle up, Time to 
Bronze Man got hit. Thinking to myself, this is how we fucking die. Metallic smell of blood in the air. Massacre. We have a groaner still breathing. Sure to tell us something interesting. Dirty fucking rats. At least the kid showed some teeth. So, still breathing. Well done. We'll make a real soldier out of you yet. All you gotta do is stay with us. Be indispensable. You will not get away with this! All right. The goods go back to the Sapphire. Just be careful, kid. Yuri and I gotta ask our scav friends some questions. Attention, this is Kirk Hansen. Good news. Keep listening, V. What this Skullcast did next is a story I've been waiting for. Okay, so listen. Before we left, Yuri gave me a list. No power generators there. I look into the truck, and what's there? Generators. Yeah, Yuri probably grabbed some on the side. Wanted to hawk him off for a quick eddy after the staff shit show. And this dumbass thought if he snatched and sold him, he'd be set for a year. They check him to see if he's cool. He straight up robs him. Only idiots say no to opportunity, Babs. In what world did that seem like a good idea? There's more, V. See, my little gauntlet here sold them to a dude in India. Probably on the way there. Oh, they're gonna kill him, right? Fuck. And me in the bargain? Come on, I see you thinking good. Can you help, sister? I'd have an idea, yeah. Gonna pull some strings, call in favors, see if I can't make some generators appear. Or get us transport so we can disappear out there past the horizon. Cogs are grinding. Give me a little time. Cause you, like, think I'm scared of him? You should be scared shitless, man. Not helping, mana. Making it so I can't think straight. It's like talking to a kid sometimes. It's like he thinks it's a game. 
Can only get pretend shot. So, you manage, figure something out? Cogs are grinding. Give me a little time. Got an NCPD contact. You're in luck. Said he could arrange generators. Dumpster near Coronado Bay Movie Theater. All clear? Oh, fuck! Really, V? Just like that? Nothing happens just like that, Chum. Web of favors. Let me know how it went. Amen to that. Set any contact dates. You know, just in case.
Hey V, recon's in our rear view now. Get yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure. See you there. Say what? Bree Whitney sold the Militex data, then disappeared. Netwatch is now out to wipe anyone who came close to it. Occupational hazard. Take care of yourself, V. Chick fucking hazed me. How'd someone like you end up here? My owner bought me from some junk dealers, revamped, reprogrammed, and finally, infused me with her spirit. Gape Earth and this unhappy wretch in tomb, or change my form whence all my sorrows come. The tree still planted in the unfinished part, not wholly vegetative, and heaved her heart. Uh, your programming sounds... ancient. What can I get you? What you got in stock? This food and drink Dogtown's got to offer, huh? Hello, this is N54 News. Been here before. Remember last time we had this convo? Ah, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. And? How's progress? Just a small difference of opinion to I know. Before NC, we worked in Op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the op there? We had our sides trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission, too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's... a long story. Think we can spare 60 seconds? Hell, might even learn something about So Me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his doberman. Spending big money on Kit's luxury it was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. What did you do? 
Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, flack. I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Parse the intel from the shard Somi gave it. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. And not just her. Ladder goes for you, too. Right. Our objective. To free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. Consequence of her service to the NUS and President Mines. I'm not about a pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So, this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka's soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Glenn, let me hear it. Hanson to meet with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Hey, Marik and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand. Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hansen. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NT. An exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it. Before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, Pete. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. And your role in all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen? Right. Where well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. 
Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird. We have to rescue him. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Main goal, want to make sure I'm clear. It's bringing Songbird free from Hansen's iron grip and seizing tech that's gonna save your lives. You and Alex enter the stadium as Hansen's visiting Netrunners. Disguises are key to the op. First step, what was it again? Securing a trace on the Netrunner's car. This bit's on you. Alex will expand on that in a minute. Meanwhile, we'll make sure the personality data and imprints are airtight. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talked about nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. And any for your thoughts, Alex, about all this? Honestly, still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep. Saddled you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think, think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will. Is that right? It's not wrong. So, we serve Hansen up on a silver platter. It'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways. We're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks? What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. <laughs> and so me? Same story as always. Dares, lends neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those? We find the car easy. There's a station not far. Near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. Stations. How do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Find it hard to believe taking one station will be enough. Rental agency's got rare rides to protect. Hmm. See if I can find more info. If the one's not enough, we'll improvise. So breach the station, trace the car. Good, what then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Dunno, anything goes wrong, I'll be stuck in there. Suck it up. This is FIA trunk ops, soldier. <laughs> Seriously, though, the tech just works. And we'll have your back the whole way. Sounds simple enough. 
Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. Militech vehicles suffered damage, the nomads have failed to open them. <laughs> Don't move! Hey, heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relics firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry, completely painless. Relic upgraded? How'd you manage it? No easy feat, I'd guess, tweaking tech that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. First good news, you said. So there a second thing? Right. It's... super important. It stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay, need to Delta. But see you soon. Sure we're alone? Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. So what's so special about this place? 
lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset, fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. I'd swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it, every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn, actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it, Brooklyn. Mm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasted funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talking one of his chews, and there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. Songbird, I need you to be straight with me. I... I helped Hanson spring the trap on Myers. My end of the deal, in exchange for the neural matrix. I down the plane, deliver Myers, yes. But blast her out of the sky, then hunt her down? Wasn't what we agreed. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself, too, almost. Ground the plane. That was the plan. Didn't expect he'd blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run, all before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but as soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. I fucked everything up, I know V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Wasn't any other way, honestly. Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. For Myers, the NUSA, I'm just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools, they don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Sounds... Sounds painfully familiar. I think I know how you feel. I know anyone understands this feeling as well as you do, V. You're the only one I can trust with this. The only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? I wanted to ask, actually. What happens exactly, you know, when you reach past the black wall? Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. I mean, losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? 
Sometimes I, I lose control or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else. But it feels horrible. Felt it too with the Chimera. Like a live in nightmare. Yeah. More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. I have nowhere to go back to. Don't trust Reed? Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Join and serve, or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed, he died too. Just more recently, seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence, yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah, with you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, the NUSA, Reed, from everything. Speaking of, out of everybody out there, you saw Hanson as a trusty ally. Seriously? I needed someone who could tear me from Wire's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain gonk one at that. That's why I enlisted you, too. Night City is just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? I mean, I have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission. Grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then... Uh... You help me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? Can't be both. You'd fit right in in D.C. Just enough truth, but not too much. I'll take what I can get. <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hanson. status report. Reed. 
today. I'm Nova, thanks. How are you? Put a cold beer in front of me once this is all over. Then we'll have time to chat. For now, fill me in on what you managed to get done. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. Better sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. This tech's her only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. Agreed. What Somi spilled, we really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. We need that car tracking, so get to work. We'll go from there. Once you get the encryption key from this system, let me know immediately.
Nino. Arrête tout. Problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Hold on, let me ping the station remotely. Try to save us some time. Clever. No response. Think standing around's gonna help? Mm, it might. Think we're good with just one more? <laughs> it's a car rental company, for Christ's sake. How sophisticated a system can they have? Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Isn't this interesting?
Looking for something? Won't find it here. Nothing to find. Hey, is that your mom? Is she doing all right? Uh-huh. She's fine. You sure about that? Dunno, maybe you ought to tell someone. Nah, she just came down from two days of BD. And she'll wake up soon, snarf a scop dog, and cry about having a headache. She always does that. Transceiver. Need to jack in quick. Two sucks and I'm gone. You do you. <sighs> Barked. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus. You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah, turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Thanks, but no thanks. Be fine on my own. Sure, sure. Yeah, totally. What about ten? I'll help you for ten ads, too. Okay. Eddies are all yours. Nova. Done deal. So, Switch. Where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. Like we said, ice cold. Warmer, getting hot. Warmer, hot, red hot. What the fuck? My PD now. At the best fucking bit too. <coughs> yo, yo, yo! Don't even think about, think about flatlining about here. <coughs> Gonna touch a corpse? <laughs> this. This gotta be what having a fucking stroke feels like. Perfect, Johnny. Thanks. Wasn't on purpose. Just gotta pick up the pace. Clock's ticking. I'm doing what I can.
Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Rhino's Dream Stand. Here's to you, Canalito. I don't think I recognize you on the street today. <laughs> your room's exactly the way you left it. Just as messy as the day you disappeared. <laughs> I ain't your criada, boy. And you clean it when you come back. And I'll introduce you to Sofia, her baklava. Oh, man. You just have to try it. There's so much catching up to do. It's been 10 years. Where's the man? You made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. You know, surprised me with the invite. Surprised? Really? Didn't know what to make of it. But yeah, it's nice to press pause once in a while. I wrote you because... because I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm, and not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission, not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Didn't want to be alone with your nerves, huh? <laughs> Always used to tell myself, cut the jitters, Alex, you don't get nervous. But for a while now, I've been trying to be more honest with myself. I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. Starting to make a lot more sense why retirement was your condition to accept the mission. Guess you'd call it burnout. Or maybe just the need for anything resembling normal. If I even know what that is anymore. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Head of our Osaka counter in Helen NC. My old boss would probably be dead by now. Me sitting at his desk. A nice corner office with a view of Corpo Plaza. And the feeling that it all belongs to you. That you're in control. Sounds fucking wretched. Yeah. To your health. Okay, now you. Who would you be, if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals, especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old fashioned. So, yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Hmm. <laughs> Got any dream roles? Norma Desmond, Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> Guessing that doesn't ring any bells. Not a single one. No surprise. It's ancient far as films go. I have a soft spot for tragic characters. Not to mention I see something of myself in her. Neither of us know when to let go. Gav got your tongue? To your future career. I know you can pull it off. Thanks, V. Really. Ooh, I love this song. Never know in which ways up down. 
It's never what it seems when it's all I'm ever missing. And it feels as though I'm waiting. And I don't need no head in my hands. To know I'm ever heading way south. I think I'll find it all somewhere between the ice and fire. Cause it's all I'm ever thinking. I don't hear ya. Don't do this often, I'm guessing. Busted moves? I can't say I do. Who gave it away? <laughs> Wasn't thinking of dancing, but never mind. We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. See you soon. Check out, without your help, check out Ronald's Dream Stand. Ah, you're here. I was just wondering if you'd come. Wondering that myself, Hassan. Corpse got wide radar and long memories. Stick your neck out like this, say goodbye. Yes, I could have rotted in a scav cage. You could have left me at the Fixer's mercy. Could, would, should. <laughs> Looks like you're doing pretty well. Is your new pad? It is. It may not be a Corpo Plaza penthouse, but I can't complain. At least I didn't sign my life away to a bank. <laughs> Down payment came from me, though. Seems my cred bought you a second chance. I, uh... Yes. That's why I'd like to repay you. Here. For you. Hmm. Huh. Don't know this model. Ah, it's something I was tinkering with. I may not have been completely honest, but the engineer part wasn't a lie. I went to the stadium, showed what I could do, and landed a few investors. This is the first real copy I made. For you. Thanks, Hassan. No, thank you. Now we are even, it seems. <laughs> you wish. So, what are you up to these days? Honestly, the same things I did at Zeta Tech. Yeah, so hazing peeps and clapping their cred? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Repairing and modifying weapons and implants. Whatever comes my way. Sure, it's older gear, cheaper parts. But at least there are no more suits breathing down my neck. So, how's things? Rough time starting from zero? Well, Dogtown isn't quite the promised land, is it? I've had to learn its ways. But if I survived in the Corp, I can manage here. Don't take kindly to ex-suits here, do they? They do not. But they do appreciate... talent. Provided you've got the right skills, you can earn your second chance.
So, what are you up to these days? Honestly, hey, I got the encryption key for Karen Exotics. Uh, so hazing nice peeps work. and clepping their cred? Be one uh -huh. other thing. Very funny. We need new growth. And an implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you deets for a clinic. The doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification with more trinkets. So know you came with my blessing.